Hi again, everyone. I'm Ollie Matthews. This is Refuge from Narcissism. Uh, some sad news. Um, quick update. Uh, today is Cyber Monday. Uh, luckily, I, I bought a new computer. It'll be here on Thursday, so I should be back posting regularly, hopefully by the weekend, because this thing is, is on the outs. But I wanted to do a very quick video. Because I just found out that another YouTuber, Angie Atkinson, passed away yesterday. Um, probably most of you know who she is. Uh, she was one of the original, I would say, four of us that started tackling these, tackling narcissism back in 2014, 2015. She, her channel, you know, along with Sam Vacken, Spartan Life Coach, mine, we were, we were pretty much, you know, the beginning of the whole online narcissism recovery thing, and now you're seeing it everywhere. And I, I talked to Angie, I haven't, I didn't talk to her in about nine months, from what I checked. But we talked, we talked pretty regularly, um, especially in the, uh, in the earlier days and up to the pandemic and all, you know, we passed thoughts back and forth and we'd, um, Skype or phone calls back and forth, uh, just, just to kind of commiserate with each other, you know, basically doing the same thing. I did a video with her on her channel. I uploaded it to mine a few years ago. Um, she was a, just a very, very nice woman. And she was very good at what she did. She helped a lot of people. A lot of people. Um, she said once, <laughs> she told me once, she goes... She goes, I, I am kind of her um, her evil side conscious. I say the things sometimes she wish she could say. It costs me, costs me subscribers, and she gets them, and that's fine. Because she's very nice, and she was always very sweet, and always tried to keep things very positive. That's how she ran her channel. I we ran narcissism channels, but we ran them, very, ran them differently. Okay? And I understood the benefit of what she did. She understood the benefit of what I did. Um, we had a very, I could say we're tight or we're best friends or anything like that. But we had a very good relationship. We had a very nice, respectful relationship. Um, if, something was, if something was going down with YouTube or behind the scenes or I needed an opinion on something that was going on, with somebody on my channel or something, I could always bounce things off of her, and she did the same with me. You know, it was um, it was a very nice relationship, and um, apparently, I don't know exactly what happened, but it seems like it was sudden. That's what her, uh, I think it was her daughter posted on Facebook about it. And I and and I hardly check Facebook anymore. I mean, I don't post anything on Facebook. I just go on there every week or so to see if I have any messages, anybody looking to get a hold of me, stuff like that. And um, I happen to see uh, the post on the timeline from. Uh, well, I saw somebody like in a posted something that seemed like it was like a like an after death post. I'm like, oh, so I went to her page and went and I'm like, damn it. No, she passed away. And that's a shame. And it's also scary, you know? I'm sick of... That's life, man. You get to an age. You know, more people die than you see get born. And, uh... I'm at an age and a lot of us on an age are, are, are at ages that, uh... You know, realistically, you could go at any time, at any time. So don't waste your time. Don't waste your time with people that are just gonna waste, are just gonna use you up.
because time is precious. Time is the most important commodity we have in this world is time because when it's over, it's over. And it's a very finite amount of time you get and you don't want it wasted. Not by people, not by toxicity. And I think that's a point she tried to make on her channel as well. So I feel bad. And I generally, generally don't feel bad over death, you know, because, I mean, that's just me and the way I was, I guess I was fucked up by, by my family. But I knew what a nice woman she was and I knew where her heart was. And, you know, it's a shame. And it really is. It's a loss to the community as a whole. Okay, because she was that channel you could always go to for some positivity and to make to, to feel better and a step up and a positive outlook. Someone who wasn't gonna call you a douchebag or an ass cunt, okay, or just, you know, or blow up like some people shall remain nameless. Not something I would. You get my point. So I feel really bad. I, I, I feel really, really bad. And I'm sure there's a lot of you out there who know about it or, or finding out about it now are going to feel bad as well because she really was a great person and she ran a great channel and she went above and beyond for a lot of people. So she will be, uh, she will be greatly missed. And, you know, if you guys want to pay your respects on her Facebook, you know, reach out, give the Pam family, whatever, however you want to process it. But um, it's a loss. It's a loss to the community as a whole. And it's a sad day. And it's your own mortality. It's going to happen to all of us and it can happen at any time. So don't let some toxic narcissistic scumbag waste it. Because that's what she lived. That's what she lived at the end of her life, trying to get across to people as well. Don't waste your time on toxicity. So, just gonna leave it at that. My new PC will be here on Thursday, and uh, it should be better quality. And uh, but that's not what this is about. So, it is what it is. Rest in peace, Angie. I wish I could have talked to you one more time, but that's life. All right, everybody. Hope you all had a good holiday, and uh, I'm going to talk to you soon once I get this PC. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.